everyone, Fed here, and welcome back to my Redstone tutorial series. In today's video, I'll be showing you how you could build a two wide pop out staircase, and you can also make this thing hidden if you would like to. So, if we come right over here and click this button, the staircase will pop out of the wall, lining us up into it. It is also seamless, we can't see any of the redstone, and it is also flush to the wall, so you can put this thing anywhere. So, we come right up here. Click the button on this side and it'll close it up behind us. It will also close a nice little door so we don't have to see any of the closed redstone on the inside. But when we're ready to leave, we just click the button once again. The door will open up and we can go ahead and walk down our staircase and reclose it from this side. Now, like I said, if you want to make this thing hidden and you don't care that you have to jump up some blocks, you can easily replace the stairs with your walling block of choice. So if I click the button here, the staircase will pop out of the wall and go ahead and jump right up it. And then again on this side, if we just click the button, it will just close up behind us. So let's get started on this tutorial. All right, guys, so for this build, we're going to need a 10 by eight spacing, and we are going to have to dig down at least one in one spot. So just giving heads up there, you will have to dig down at least one. And that line right there at the bottom is where your wall is going to be inside your building. So just giving heads up there too, the line at the bottom is where your wall is going to be. Now the resources you are going to need for this build are 24 sticky pistons, 16 observers, three droppers, one hopper, 21 redstone repeaters, one redstone comparator, 16 redstone, five redstone torches, two buttons of your choice, one lever, 10 glass blocks, five slabs, 16 staircases of your choice if you want to make this thing hidden, then 16 blocks of your choice, and two redstone lamps. And now these bottom blocks right here, these are just what my redstone's going down on, and the stone bricks are going to be my blocks of choice for my wall. So once you've gotten your area and you gathered up all your resources, just come to the bottom left hand corner and we're going to count over four blocks. One, two, three, four, and then we're going to count up three blocks. One, two, three, and we're going to dig out these four blocks right here. Then we're going to dig down two more times. One, two, and the reason we have to do this is because right off of these back blocks, we're going to have to place observer blocks facing downwards, just like that. So let's go ahead and get out of the hole. And then facing away from these two observer blocks that are facing down, we're going to place two observers facing towards the front of where our wall is. Now, right on top of these two observer blocks, we're going to take out our sticky pins and we're going to place two double piston extenders right there with our staircase of choice in front of it. And then right on top of these two sticky pistons, we're going to place in yet again, two more sticky pistons with our staircase of choice in front of those. Now we're going to swing to the backhand side over here. And on top of these two observer blocks, we're going to take out our repeaters place two repeaters down and set them both to three ticks delay. Next, take out your redstone and just place redstone going all down this entire line up to here. And same thing on this side and then hook them together right over those pistons. Then coming out of this redstone, we're gonna place a repeater on one tick, place another repeater on this side on one tick. Then we're gonna take out our walling block of choice. I'm gonna be using stone. I'm gonna go ahead and take out my stone bricks and we're just gonna place some walling blocks of choice right in front of those two repeaters. And now that should be our bottom two pistons done. So if I place my lever here, flip it down, as you see the staircase pops out. And if I flip it up, it retracts the staircase. So right off of this staircase, we're gonna place in yet again, our blocks of choice, our staircases of choice. And now we're gonna place in this basically backwards. So we're gonna come up a block right above that redstone. And we're gonna place in two pistons facing inwards with our stairs in front of them like that. And then we're going to place stairs on top of these pistons. And then we're going to make a double piston extender off these stairs. So just come out three blocks and then place in two pistons facing inwards for our double piston. Do the same thing on this side, make our double piston right here. We can go ahead and break these two back blocks. And now we just have to hook the redstone to this. So to come right underneath here off of these blocks, we're going to place in two blocks with some redstone connecting to the back of these pistons. Then we're going to place in two blocks off these with a piece of redstone on this side swing over to this side and place a repeater coming out of that redstone and set that repeater to four ticks delay. Next up, we're gonna place a block in front of this repeater and then we're gonna have to take out our slabs. So go ahead and just take out your slabs and place a slab right here, upside down off of this block with redstone on both of them. Then coming out of both of these redstone, we're gonna place an observer block facing this way and an observer block facing this way. Then we're gonna come back in towards our sticky pistons, placing in yet again another observer block. So right now the arrows should go that way. And then this arrow should face towards the front of your build and do the same thing on this side. Just place an observer block off of that one right there. And then all you have to do is just place a block right in front of both those observer blocks. Now staring from the build from the front, we're gonna come over here to the left-hand side 
And off of this redstone that is right next to that slab, we're going to place in a redstone torch. Place a block right above this piece of redstone. With a piece of redstone coming out of it, we don't want these two connecting, so just place a block right here to disconnect them. Place a block right in front of that redstone with a redstone torch on top of it. And now we're going to swing over here to this side. Now this side's going to get a little bit different because we have to hook it up so it activates the bottom and the top. So right here where I have my lever that activates my bottom area, just right to the right of this piece of redstone, we're going to place a block, redstone torch, a block on top of the redstone torch, then come to this side, and right off the torch, we're going to place in a block, and then coming out of the block that's above our redstone torch, we're going to place in a repeater, set it to four ticks delay, with a block to the side, and a piece of redstone on top of that. Then we're going to swing back over here, and off the side of this block right here, we're going to place another redstone torch. It should go off. Place a block coming out from that redstone torch with a repeater coming out of it on one tick delay. Place a block in front of it with a redstone torch on top of it. And then right above this redstone torch, we're going to place in a block. Oh, and same thing on this side. I completely forgot to do it. We have to place in a block on that one as well. So that should be these two hooked up together. So now if I just move my lever from here to here and I flip it down, as you can see, the staircase opens up. And the staircase closes. Now, this is going to be the hardest part of this build. We're going to add in a triple piston extender right at the top so then we can make it flush to the wall. And this will also keep it looking seamless. So let's go ahead and just open it up right now. Oh, yeah, and I forgot we can't. <laughs> These blocks have to be our blocks of choice for a wall. So go ahead and put your blocks of choice over the tops of those two torches. So we want to make sure everything's seamless. We don't want to see any of the redstone whatsoever. So now right on top of here, we're going to take out our staircases once again. So let me go ahead and just do that. And then we're going to place three sticky pistons facing into that staircase. So we're just going to come out four blocks from here. One, two, three, four. Break these three blocks. And then place three sticky pistons facing inwards towards our staircase. Do the same thing on this side. You know, just come out the block from here. And place in your three sticky pistons going towards that staircase. We can go ahead and break these blocks. They're no longer needed for now. Now to hook up our triple piston extender to this one right down here. We're just going to come out an extra block from these. Placing in two pieces of redstone. And then just coming up a block on this side and this side with redstone on top of both of them. And now that will connect this bottom layer to this top layer. Next up, I want you to take out your slabs just so I don't forget later on. And coming off of this observer block that's facing towards us, we're going to place in a slab upside down here. And on this side as well, a slab upside down. I just feel like I'm going to forget that later on. So I want to put that in now. Next up, what we're going to do is just come out three blocks from here. One, two. So three blocks. One, two, three. And we're just going to wrap this in to over here like that. And we're going to do the same thing on this side. We're just going to make sure we come out like three blocks from here and wrap it in like that. So now we have a nice little area to put all our repeaters down. So next up, take out your repeaters. And on top of the observer block that's next to that slab, we're going to place a repeater going in here, set it to two ticks. Do the same thing on this side, repeater here, set it to two ticks. You know what, let's do one side and then we'll just do the other side. I don't want to keep going back and forth, back forth. <laughs> So next up, what we're going to do is place a piece of redstone next to this repeater. And place a repeater right behind it and set it to three ticks delay. And then we're just going to place redstone along all of these blocks. But once we get to this three tick delay repeater, we're going to come up a block with a piece of redstone. Then off of this block, we're going to place another block with a repeater coming out of it. Set it to four ticks delay. Take out your observer block and coming out of the repeater, go into crouch and go ahead and place an observer block coming out of this repeater. Next up, we're going to have to take out our blocks of choice here and just place a block of choice right in front of that observer block. Next up, we're going to place a block right above this redstone repeater. And then next up, take out your glass blocks and place a glass block right in front of that repeater because we don't want that repeater going into it, setting power to it. And then go ahead and just place redstone on top of these blocks. Then we're going to come down a block right here with another piece of redstone going into a block of choice. Next, swing back over here. And then coming out from here, we're going to place in three more blocks. One, two, three. Place a repeater here on one tick. A repeater here on four ticks with a piece of redstone behind it. Next up, place a block right in front of that one tick delay repeater with a piece of redstone on top of it. Next, take out your observer blocks and face an observer block in towards your triple piston extender with a block in front of it. Next up, take out your slabs once again. And right next to this redstone, we're going to put a slab upside down. And then right next to this slab that's upside down, we're going to place in a redstone lamp. Next, place some redstone right on top of your slab. And we're going to come out two blocks. One, two, one, two. 
Place a repeater coming out of that redstone. Ooh, I got rid of my repeater at some point, so let's get that back. Place a repeater coming out of this redstone and go ahead and set it to four ticks delay. Block in front of it. And then two pieces of redstone right along those blocks. And then coming out of this redstone lamp right here, we're going to go ahead and place in yet again another observer block. With a block of choice, we will be able to see it right in front of it like that. And now that should be one whole side of the triple piston extender done. So if I come down here and I flip up my lever, as you can see, it will fully extend out. And then when I flip down the lever, it will fully retract back in. So now all we have to do is the same thing we did here on this side. So right next to this two tick delay repeater, we're gonna place a piece of redstone, place a repeater going into that, set it to three ticks delay with a block behind it with redstone on top. And then we're gonna hook all of this redstone together. Then we're gonna come out three blocks from here. One, two, three, block up, place a repeater going into this on one tick. And then the one behind that on four ticks with redstone behind it and redstone on top. And you know, what? we'll come back this one later. Let's do this side first. So coming out of this block right here with our redstone, we're gonna place a block with a repeater on four ticks delay. Take out your observer blocks and place an observer block facing in towards your build off that repeater right there with the block of choice in front of it. Then we're gonna place a block right above this repeater with a glass block in front of it like that. Then we're gonna come down one, placing a piece of redstone here with your block of choice in front of that redstone and now connect it all together. Now let's come back over here and fit everything in. So coming off this redstone, we're gonna place our observer block with a block in front of it. Then we're gonna place in a slab upside down, place in that lamp next to that slab that's upside down, place a piece of redstone on the top of it, come out four blocks, one, two, three, four, place a repeater coming out of that redstone, set it to four ticks delay with a block in front of it and two pieces of redstone next to it. Then coming out of that redstone lamp right there, we're gonna place in yet again another observer block with a block of choice right in front of it. And that should be the second one completely done, I am pretty sure. So let's go ahead and flip up the lever. So there it is fully extending out. And then that should be it fully retracting. And boom, we are done. So now if we take our blocks here and come up with another staircase right here and one more staircase, and now we just need some flooring. So let's just, you know what? Let's just go ahead and use dark oak wood like we've been using this entire time. And we can come out like that. Because So now what we're going to do is put in that door so we can't see any of the redstone when the whole thing closes up. So right above this redstone that's next to this repeater, we're going to place three sticky pistons like that. And we're going to do the same thing on this side. Right next to the redstone that is next to this repeater, place in three sticky pistons facing inwards. And then we can go ahead and take out our blocks of choice and place that off the sides of our sticky pistons like that now we just have to hook the redstone from down here into these pistons right here so coming off the side of this redstone we're going to place in a glass block and a glass block up like this and one up like that making a kind of c shape then we're going to place redstone right along it and on this side we're going to place a block here with a piece of redstone and that should be one side of the door completely done now just do the same thing we did here on this side take out your glass blocks Come up making a backwards C shape kind of. And then place redstone right along all of them. And place a block right here next to it with redstone on top of it. And that's it. Your door is fully in now. And now when I flip up this lever, it should close the door. And I... Oh! <laughs> I forgot right here. This needs to be slabs. You can't cut off this redstone. See how this redstone's getting cut off? We can't have that. There we go. So right there, you are going to need uh, slabs or blocks that don't cut off redstone. So I'm just going to put a staircase here upside down. So there we go. Yeah, don't do that. Do not cut off the redstone there with a full block. I completely missed that. But then when we flip it down, it will open up the door and open up the staircase. So now all I have to do is just clean up the area a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and close it real quick. There we go. So we can get the idea of where our stairs are. There we go. So it will look like this when it's closed. And then when we flip down the lever and open it up, we can go ahead and clean it up from the inside now. And in here, you can do absolutely whatever, whatever you want. Like I said, it's completely seamless. You can't see any of the redstone. So you can basically use whatever blocks you really want to in here. But I'm going to go ahead and just fill up to the top with my stone. And I'm back and I quickly just went ahead and filled up all the way to the top with my stone. I can, ah, <laughs> I can also add in some lights in here so it doesn't, so it's not all dark in here and whatnot. <laughs> and then of course, you know, we can fill it up here as well. So we can't see any of the red. So now all we have to do is just add in a button for up here and for down there. So, you know, we don't have to flip it with a lever up and down all the time. 
And just giving a heads up now before we go ahead and install this button right here, this is your input block. Any power that goes into this block right here will activate the door. So if you don't want to do a button, you want to hook up this thing to some undetectable button or something like that, undetectable input, then you absolutely could do that. Just make sure you have a repeater going into this block and it will activate this entire build. But I'm just going to go ahead and go with my normal hopper dropper T flip flop. So going into our input block, we're going to be placing a repeater. Don't know why I broke it then. <laughs> then we're just going to place a block right behind it with a comparator going into it. Next up, we're going to take out some droppers and hoppers and coming right behind our comparator here. We're going to place a dropper facing up. Then we're going to place a dropper facing in towards our build right here. Then right below, we're going to place in a hopper going into the bottom of this dropper. And then we're going to have to break a block and place a dropper facing down into our hopper. And that will make a hopper dropper T flip flop. There we go. Now all we have to do is just place one item inside of our top dropper. So I'm just going to put my lever in there because I no longer need that. And now let's go ahead and just put the button right here. So one block away from my build, place a block, a button, and then we're just going to come up with some blocks right to the top of this dropper. And we're going to place in two pieces of redstone. Well, three pieces of redstone in just like that. And there we go. The bottom button should be working. So when I click it, the staircase opens up and why was there a little bit of a lag there? I kind of, hold on one second. Why is there? Oh, I know why. Okay. I, I'm like, why is there a little bit of a lag there? This repeater here has to be set to four ticks delay. I forgot about that completely. So now when we click it, as you can see, boom, now it looks perfect. I'm like wondering why is that lag in there a tiny bit? There we go. Beautiful. So the button is working down here. Now we just got to place it in a button up here. So what I did was I just came out till I got past my redstone and we're going to place a button off this block right here like that. And we're just going to come out a block from it, placing redstone on top of it. And we don't want these two connecting. So we're going to place a block right above it like that. Then we're just going to come down a block, place redstone here. Next up, just come down a block away from it now because we don't want to connect any other redstone. We're just basically making a staircase that goes down to there with redstone. It, it's very simple. You know, it's not very far from the build, but we're just going to come down in a nice staircase manner to the bottom like that and place redstone right along it. And now the top button should work. So if I click this button right here, boom, it will close the door. Click the button again and it will open up the door. And of course, now all you have to do is just clean up the area, add in your flooring up here as well like this. There we go. And of course, like I said, if you don't care about going up and down stairs, like if you don't care about going up and down stairs and you want to make this thing completely hidden, you know, just take out your walling block of choice. Just remove these blocks and just place in your walling block of choice. And that will make a completely hidden pop out staircase. So there we go. Click the button. It'll open it up. And of course you'd have to, you know, change up those stairs up there as well, but <laughs> click the button. And it will close. But there you guys have it. That's how you build a two wide pop out staircase that can also be completely hidden. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe. And if you're already subscribed, make sure to hit that notification bell because I am uploading on the daily. All right, guys. Peace.